All right, Cancer, hi loves, and welcome back to the Mother Trusted channel. If you're already familiar with this space, then you already know what to expect, so welcome back. But if you're new to this channel, then welcome in, and definitely come in with an open mind and an open heart. Just hear whatever it is that I have to say. And if it happens to resonate, then like this video, you know, share it with other Cancerians that you know, and subscribe if you like the vibe and want more of these videos. Um, but at the very least, feel safe enough to be yourself wherever you are energetically, be it positive, negative, or neutral. That doesn't concern me so long as you leave better than you came in, okay? But yes, if you haven't already liked this video, go ahead and do that and start commenting below. Um, put crabs in the comment section, those that are subscribed to my channel and have heavy Cancerian influence in their chart. Um, before we get into the actual reading, I do want to speak about the transits and what's going on, particularly today. I'm recording, it is now 4.50 Central Time. Um, and so when I looked at the transits for today, I did it about five minutes ago. And what came up um, was that the sun is now uh, 28 degrees Taurus, which is a Cancerian degree, the 28th degree. And so for a lot of you guys, I feel like you are going to be playing it pretty safe and or that's just how you're coming off. Like if other people are uh, in your immediate surrounding, the aura and the vibe that you're giving off is one of uh, just being pretty safe and or shy, uh, definitely going to be a little bit more observant. Um, than extroverted and wanting to uh, really just network and connect with other individuals. Um, so that is what came through for me as I was meditating on the energy. And then with the moon being at 15 degrees Gemini, 15 degrees is a Gemini degree. Um, what I'm getting from this is that you need to be very careful. And this is why I feel like a lot of you guys will be playing it safe with who it is that you allow into such an intimate space with you because if they are going through something that is pretty tumultuous you can find that you will be absorbing a lot of that energy and then for no reason at all you can find yourself being um, either highly upset and or feeling very provoked and threatened and or just feeling very like gloomy and potentially depressed but it's not because of what you're personally going through again it's just with whoever you could be attached to at this time or that has access to you and your energy um, they can be going through it and then with you spending copious amount of time with them you can find that you are influenced by um, their emotions so just watch out for that i'm also getting that if in matters of the heart you're dealing with somebody and or have dealt with somebody that you still feel like you have some sort of tie to the moon being at 15 degrees it can be very like hot and cold like wishy-washy type of energy um, one minute you may feel like you miss them and want to reconcile and want to make it work and then the next minute it's kind of like fuck them you know, like I'm better off without them. You can be feeling like you are better off without and or better than those that you could be talking to or any suitors that you have, um, especially if it's not who you truly desire and or want at the end of the day. So you could be making those types of decisions there. Uh, Mercury is at 14 degrees Gemini, which is a Taurian degree that 14 degrees um, and so with that in speech it can kind of come off as a what I say goes type of energy so just be very careful um, if you're dealing with people that are going to be a little bit too inflexible when it comes to allowing you to speak your mind and you feeling um, validated you know and 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 feeling i don't want to say like entitled to your opinion but everybody essentially is like be careful of those that may try to make it seem like their method is the only pathway to success here okay 
So with this energy and this influence, I encourage you guys to really play more to that devil's advocate energy, that devil just speaking to uh, the Gemini energy itself. And you know that they're known to be the twins or they're associated with being the twins as like an archetype. Um, and so it's like two different, very stark personalities. I encourage you to, to look into that um, when it comes to matters of communication and those people that you are speaking with that are very different from you. Um, and in putting the shoe on the other foot and or vice versa with that energy. Venus is still at 21 degrees Gemini, um, as is Jupiter at 27 degrees in Capricorn. Saturn at the first degree in Aquarius and Pluto at 24 degrees Capricorn. Those are the four major planets right now that are stationed retrograde. So that hasn't changed much. And if you're unaware with how it can be affecting you, it just really depends on your own personal natal chart. Um, but for the most part, the common theme is figuring out the ways in which you have been restricting and or limiting yourself and or how capable you may feel to complete something and or do something um, kind of maybe taking on some of that dragging of the feet energy that came through with capricorns so definitely check out that video if you haven't um, and or looking at just concepts of power and reputation and status and your savings account at this time and also just um, your own personal character and how you can be coming off at this time. How you could potentially be a little bit too strict in the way that you deal with other people and or maybe how you have been a little bit too carefree. So it can go either way here. But what came out for you guys is the page of coins. followed by the four of wands, your energy there, the number four is associated with the zodiac sign of cancer in your house. And then you have the seven of coins. So what did I say, right? You guys are really playing it safe at this time. And again, I encourage you to just be a little bit more open-minded when it comes to certain disagreements that you can have with people in your life that you know at the end of the day you care deeply about um, and just be more of a listening ear at this time because you have the eight of swords the nine of cups and the three of swords that is at the bottom of the deck so there's a lot that can be lost in translation at this time. Misunderstanding somebody's intentions. There could be a little bit of the blame game going on also um, when you get like the three of swords in a spread and or the eight of swords in a spread, but it's due to your own anxiety, anxious nature and or paranoia here, right? So. This is really going to be a test as to whether or not you can uh, maturely pick your battles. Like every little thing that, bo that bothers you may not be worth yelling and screaming about and or feeling like you've been slighted and crying about and your feelings being hurt because you feel like you are misunderstood as a person here like now is the time for you to really exercise your throat chakra and ask more clarifying questions like okay if somebody does something to you that bothers you in some way and then you feel threatened and then you decide to retreat right with this eight of swords you can definitely be giving somebody the silent treatment um instead of resorting to that what feels comfortable for you what which is you're playing it safe just be like hey like 
I don't like that you did that and I'm curious to know why you chose to you know treat me in the way that you did or why you didn't support me why you didn't show up when I thought that you did and you told me that you would if somebody maybe um, you know made some sort of promise and or commitment to you and then they, they just didn't follow through for whatever reason instead of um, jumping to conclusions and or automatically resorting to wanting to cut somebody off at the first mistake that is made listen and hear this person out i feel like you guys you're just so used to being babied right um you cancerians you guys are known to be like the princes and or the princesses um, and so a lot of things are usually handed to you guys in life even though you also work for a lot of the things that you acquire in life you're very self-sufficient individuals very hard-working individuals nobody can take that away from you but at the end of the day i feel like you guys um are pretty spoiled when you when you look at it right when you look at all of the things that have transpired in your life here and so it can be hard for you to ever step outside of yourself and realize that other people have certain obligations or responsibilities that they have to handle other people are still battling with themselves internally and the transitions that they're going through in life um midlife crisis is coming through also here with this a little bit um and also you know as you age and as you mature and as you grow you start to realize that you are outgrowing certain things and certain people so you and anybody that you can be connecting with could be going through the loss of a friendship you know that they valued at one point but just is no longer in the same space energetically that they are still in you know what i'm saying um and so you have to leave that type of person behind there is a certain grieving process that one has to go through that is required for them to come out on the other side and to remain sane right as people get older their parents start to die and you know certain friends and our family members that um they have relationships with that they felt close to at one point will start to die and so there's a certain grieving process too like you just never really know what's really going on in somebody's life so again instead of playing the blame game or getting so upset so fast um, why not just take a breath, you know, and again, just be like, okay, like, obviously, you're off your game here a little bit. Do you want to talk about what's going on with you? Um, because something is different. It feels different here. If somebody's saying something to you, just be like, okay, you know, I was listening. And what I hear is that you're asking for me to be a little bit more understanding for me to be a little bit more compassionate or for me to be a little bit more considerate and or for me to be a little bit more gentle with the way that i um like communicate my ideas or the things that i want to suggest for us to try because this can come down to experimentation in certain relationships and dynamics that you find yourself in as well um and so th this is what I'm hearing. Am I right in how I have interpreted it and how I'm understanding and comprehending what it is that you need from me? Because this can come down to necessity, right? Goods and services here. The service that you provide to another person and vice versa. And or this can be the, the opposing force that you're dealing with and the other person who maybe you need to have this conversation with so that they can start trying to do that with you um in the relationship here but it's just minor minor tweaks and adjustments that are needed but for the most part i just i see this as um everything is really going well for you guys this is a pretty optimistic spread at the end of the day um, just don't allow your own stress and paranoia to get in the way of your happiness and what is really in front of you. And also, um, what I'm getting is that 
when it, when I touched on somebody potentially being inflexible, last night I caught myself singing the um, Campbell's Soup, Oh, the Possibilities slogan. And I'm like, why am I even thinking about that? Um, but it makes sense in this case with you guys being able to find different alternative ways to make whatever dynamic you exist in work for you um, and to where you can be happy too. Like there are a multitude of different approaches that you can take at this time. And that energy is supportive with Venus being in Gemini at 21 degrees because it's a Sagittarian degree, which is all about like philosophical thoughts, but experimentation, higher learning here and adventure, optimism and luck. So in a relationship that you're already in, you can you can reap great rewards by suggesting that you guys try something or that you do something, that you spruce it up in some way. And that Campbell's Soup video is old. That came out in what, 2005? I think the run was from like 2005 to 2008. So for some of you guys with this retrograde that we are existing in, you can be going back to that prior state of existence here, like retracing your steps in that way. And, or you find that you're, feel, you're feeling a lot of the familiar energy that existed between 2005 through 2008. Keep in mind also that we hit a recession economically in 2008. So some of you guys, as far as business is concerned, you're realizing that there is a certain pattern that exists here and you're starting to catch on to the fact that if you don't start something for yourself, you could very well lose with this Eight of Swords because it's all about things that get lost, right? and or sacrifice things that die and or, and or need to be transformed. You can lose the lifestyle that you have grown accustomed to and that you have found some comfort in. And I know that security and stability is something that is extremely important to you guys. So at this time, it is the best time to start really, um, really getting your hands dirty and figuring out what product or service you can create that other people need like it has to be an economic need um and then putting yourself in the marketplace in that way now is the best time to find different ways to network with people because we don't have access to a lot of um the restaurants and or organizations that we used to be able to go to for like mixers and stuff like that so find inventive new ways to be able to connect with people via social media at this time i feel like you'd be surprised you can you can very well make friends online at this time as well that is uh on the table for you guys I feel like there was something else that I had wanted to say, but it has left me at this point. So if I can think about what it was that I wanted to add, that I will plug it and pin it in the comment section below. But at the end of the day, um, just be a little bit more present and in the moment. I feel like you, you guys can get so flustered so quickly when something goes wrong and then like everything else kind of just goes by the wayside. Um, and so you're losing moments and memories that you can't get back. Also be careful of that with whoever you are dating. If you guys do something romantic like that where you're setting time aside to spend quality time together, just make sure that you're not gonna be on your phone. Like that can wait, you know what I'm saying? You, you, some of you guys, you might get too busy and wrapped up with trying to capture the moment by taking pictures and videos and everything that you actually truly miss um, what's in front of your face and the most special about it at the end of the day. So just be very careful with that. I feel like you're going to be working on your presence. If not your presence in your relationship and or your marriage, then just your online presence. Um, and people will be uh, drawn to you at this time if it's indeed the latter where you're trying to do something creatively and or build a business here. You can team up with a lot of great people though. 
but you were built for this. You were built to overcome any obstacle that, that gets thrown your way. So just know that. Know that you are strong enough to handle whatever it is that you are dealt at this time and you are always going to be better because of the challenges that you face. It's allowing for you to find ways to critically think and again, become a little bit more ingenious and or resourceful in building a tougher skin because you guys, you know, I call you guys crybabies. And so at this time, you need to you need to build that up a little bit. Don't get discouraged if somebody tells you no also on the business front because, you know, there are 7.8 billion people that exist on this earth. You know, it's law of averages. You're going to hear a certain amount of no's before you get to those yeses. But know that there is somebody out there for you that wants to invest in you and or know that the energy is supportive of you being supported by your partner at this time that wants to uh, stay in this marriage and make it work like they're willing to do whatever it takes they want to they want to work with you and not against you so always keep that in mind as well to cancer but start getting excited when you hear no's because that brings you one step closer to getting your yes right and to feeling and seeing the abundance and being able to reap the 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 rewards of all of the work that you put in you guys have incredible work ethic okay so that's what i have for you cancers if this resonated give me a thumbs up share it with your friends and family subscribe if you haven't and book with me should you need to but if i don't hear from you then just take care of yourself and soul until you see me again ciao